You know what amazes me? The things we try to sell each other in this country. Like, uh, I don't know if you ever seen this commercial. That's a penis pill commercial, if you ain't know. Because they got a pill out here on the market that apparently increased the size of your dick. And I hope you don't believe that, okay? Ain't nothing you can do about that right there. It's a wrap on that. You know, whatever you got, use that. The Lord giveth, he will giveth no more. It's over. But don't be ashamed of it. Whatever you got, use that. Don't let anybody make you ashamed of what you got, okay? There's nothing you can do about it. You can't fix that. It's not like it's a penis dealership on every corner. You'll never walk into a room and a guy run up on you like, hey, how you doing? I'm Bob. I'll be your penis salesman today. Let's take a look at our variations of penises. Uh, right over here, this is our Suzuki penis. Now, this is a uh, smaller penis, but it's really fast. It'll take you where you need to go. <laughs> take a look right over there. That's our Chrysler penis. Now, that's a larger penis, but you may want to use that as much as you can because it's going to randomly stop working on you. Uh, look, look. <laughs> be careful. And, uh, of course, this is our top shelf model. This is our Cadillac penis. This has the 24-inch uh, rims, the tinted windows. Uh, I don't know if you want to use this model or not, though, because they only make this in black. So if you, uh... <laughs> That's my favorite joke right there to tell. <laughs> a lot of people react to it. I had a guy run up on me. He says, hey, I'm going to defend my white dick. I'm just like, you don't really have to, man. I'm not that interested. You know, it's just... It's a joke. He says, no. I'll have you know I have a Jaguar. I said, oh, shit. Congratulations, man. You got the Jaguar penises. He says, no. I have an actual Jaguar. You don't even need a penis when you have one of those. Touche, sir. Touche. Speaking of crazy stuff to do, uh, I was talking to a friend of mine. She had a stalker. You ever had a friend that had a stalker before? Like, that baffles my mind, like a stalker. Like, what makes you think it's okay to do something stupid like that? Like, you know, usually when you do something, you see it done first, and then you figure it's a good idea. Like, I was walking one day, and I saw a car, and I was like, yeah, now that's a faster way to get where I'm going. <laughs> you know, who authorized stalking. Like, you never been at a dinner party and saw a couple say, oh, there's Jim and Nancy over there. Did you know Jim stalked Nancy for about five years before they got together? <laughs> she didn't really like him at first. Had a couple of restraining orders. Came outside. He was in her bushes. But uh, one day she came home. He was sitting in her living room. <laughs> Took out a pair of her panties and sniffed it just like this. <laughs> and that's when she knew he was the one. I mean, like, who does that? Like, I've never had that mechanism, you know? I've been rejected by plenty of women in my life, okay? If I go up to a girl and say, hey, you're beautiful. i like to take you out, get to know you. And she look at me, get away from me, you disgusting son of a bitch. I don't want nothing to do with you. I'm not going to say, yeah, I need to learn this bitch's schedule. <laughs> it just doesn't, I don't get that. <laughs> That's religious people, man. They're crazy, man. That's how my mom's is. My mom's like to threaten me with Jesus. You ever had somebody threaten you with Jesus before? Like, I talked to my mother on the phone. Be like, hey, mom, what's up? Oh, hey, baby, how you doing? I hear you doing your little comedy thing now. You telling your little jokes? Doing your little comedy. That's cool. Do the people laugh at you when you tell your little jokes? Yeah, you know, once in a while, mom, I'll get a laugh here and there. She's like, oh, that's good, baby. That's good. Because when Jesus get back, all that laughing going to stop. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they use them for campaigns. Like recently, they started a uh, no hate campaign, which is an anti-bullying campaign, right? Which is like, okay, to me, bullying is something that makes this country great. I don't think we can get rid of bullying. <laughs> it builds character. You got to have bullying. I understand you don't want people to be ashamed of who they are. But if you get rid of bullying, you got to do it the right way, okay? You got to reach the heart of the person that's being bullied, not the bully. And you can't have Usher as your campaign spokesperson because nobody gives a shit what Usher thinks. <laughs> He's never whooped anybody's ass before. Okay? You want to stop bullying effectively? You need to get somebody like Chris Brown. <laughs> He'd be perfect for it. <laughs>
Can you imagine the Chris Brown no bullying PSA? What's up, everybody? This is Chris Brown. Are you being chased around school and called a homosexual? Well, that's terrible. But don't go home and cry like a little bitch about it. Next time you go to school, take a lead pipe with you. And if he chase you around and call a homosexual, hit him over the head and then fuck him in front of his classmates. I guarantee you the bullying will stop. <laughs> Perfect, man. Perfect. <laughs> if I start a petition for that, would you sign it? Y'all sign it? <laughs>